When you're simplifying a fraction that has addition and subtraction in it, you're going to need to factor first. Okay? You cannot simplify these u squareds or these u's with each other or the 20 and the 2 or anything else like that without um, turning the addition parts into multiplication parts. Okay, so what you're going to need to do on this is always look to see if you can common factor first. So I look at the top fraction up here and I see that at all of these, I could divide each of these numbers by 2. If that's the case, then you know you can common factor out a 2. So you're left with 2. 2 times what gives me 2u squared? Just need to multiply it by u squared. Okay, plus 2 times what gives me 6u? That would be 3u. And then I take 2 times what gives me a negative 8, and that would be a negative 4. Okay, now we look down here at the denominator, and uh, we can't common factor anything out of those terms, so they just stay u squared minus u minus 20. And now we look at both of these um, values here and we see if we can factor those. So what two numbers multiply to give you a negative 4 but add to give you a positive 3? That's what we need to look for here. So we get u and u here. Is this the u squared? And we know that if we had a positive 4 times a negative 1, that multiplies to give me a negative 4. But the four positive 4 and a negative 1 add to give me a positive 3. Okay, so those are my factors for the top part. And now we go ahead and factor the denominator. And let's see, we're going to have u and u here. And what two numbers multiply to give you a negative 20 but add to give you a negative 1? And that's going to be a negative 5. and a positive 4. Because negative 5 times 4 is a negative 20. Negative 5u and a positive 4u would give you a negative u when you add them together. Okay. So once you've factored them, then you're going to look for factors that are exactly the same. So we have a u plus 4 and a u plus 4, and we're basically simplifying those to 1s. And then, let's see, we can't simplify anything else, so we're going to simply, you could multiply, distribute 2 through, but we could just leave it as 2 times the quantity of u minus 1, all divided by u minus 5. Okay. So there's one example. Let's look at one more example. Now this one looks a little bit different. It's going to have a few tricks in it, so we've got to be a little more careful. But again, we look to see if we can common factor. That's the first step. So I see I can divide both of these by 3, so I rewrite this fraction as 3 times the quantity 1 minus u squared. Okay, if you multiply these back together, you get this. And then the denominator, we can't common factor anything out of that one. So it's just going to stay u squared plus 4u minus 5. Okay, so now we're going to see what we can do to factor these. Okay, so now I notice that the top um, value is the difference of two squares. So I can rewrite this using that rule as 1 minus u and 1 plus u. And then the denominator, let's see, I can factor this. I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to give me a negative 5, but adds to give me a positive 4. So it's going to be a positive 5. and a negative 1. 
multiplies to give me negative 5. For the middle terms, positive 5u and a negative 1u add to give me 4u. See, so that's correct. Okay, so now we're looking for do we have any factors in common? Well, these, not, these two are, look similar, but they're not exactly the same. So um, there's a couple methods you could use to simplify this and to change it so it looks the same as this. One of the methods I like to do is common factor out a negative 1. So I'm going to basically show you if I have 1 minus u up here, and I common factor out a negative 1, I'm left with, it's basically going to change the signs of both of these. Okay, and so what I get is a negative 1 times, and I'm going to rewrite these so I have the positive u first and plus a negative 1. Well, that's just the same thing as minus 1. Okay, and that's what I wanted to rewrite this one as, and so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cross this one out. I'm going to rewrite it as a negative 1 times the quantity of u minus 1. Okay, so I'm replacing that by u so that I have some factors that are common. So sometimes we just are manipulating things a little bit. Now I see these factors are exactly the same of u minus 1 and u minus 1 will simplify to a 1. Now I don't have anything else in common so I'm going to multiply these together. 3 times a negative 1 times 1 is just a negative 3. Times the quantity 1 plus u all divided by u plus 5. And that is your answer. If you wanted to go ahead and distribute the negative 3 through, you could do that as well, but this is perfectly acceptable.